A look now at the tail of the tape. Morales, the younger fighter, and check out the reach advantage. Not only is he nine years younger than Varantenyakov, but that five-inch reach advantage could be a factor. Our fourth fight of the evening. And Mark Smith will be our referee. Ready? Michael, ready? Fight's on. Morales in the red trunks. Varantenyakov in the blue. Yeah, very Tenikov is training at King's MMA now as well, and that's an important point to mention because if you follow mixed martial arts, you've heard the name King's MMA, head coach Rafael Cordero, just a legend of the Muay Thai game down in Brazil, and he's just, you know, produced some legendary fighters over the years, talking Shogun, Vanderlei Silva, the list goes on right now, Kelvin Gastelum, Marvin Vittori, Giga Chikadze. So he's training with some of the best people in the world, and that's why he came to America. Yeah, he said Giga Chikadze and Benil Dariush were a big impact on him when he got to America. But part of the reason he came to train in the United States was at the uh, behest of one Triple G. He is acquaintances with uh, Gennady Golovkin and said, man, you got to go to the United States to get some, some of that high-level training take your game to the next level. And Benil Dariush is actually in his corner as well, Laura. Nice Superman punch up a fence a second ago for Morales. As I say, I haven't seen the jab yet. Most of the other fights I saw, he was working behind the jab. But now he's using that as a little feint to throw the right hand. Not a lot of MMA in Ecuador, so Morales went to Tijuana, fighting out of Entrim Gym there. I'm surprised to see uh, Morales be the one initiating Looking for a takedown here. That's not something I saw a lot in his film coming into this fight, but doing a nice job here. He's got the body lock on Veritenyakov. Looking to drag this fight to the ground, but Veritenyakov so far doing a good job of defending this takedown attempt here. Yeah, Veritenyakov is, uh, dare I say, very technical. He is very technical. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I couldn't miss little, It's a little early. I mean, we're only I mean, two minutes in. Yeah. Very technical. You should have saved that one. Oh, Veritenyakov looking on. to get the, the wizard here and defend a spin out to be able to put Morales' back on the cage, but Morales doing a nice job of keeping him pinned here. And you're right, we haven't seen a ton of takedown attempts and wrestling from him, but he is the national Ecuadorian wrestling champion. Oh, he's got it in his, his pocket for sure, and we're seeing it right now. Yeah, look at that, that nice work though. You see here, but very technical. He gets a little sloppy sometimes, though, when he's boxing. He does have a lot of power. That wasn't bad. That was a good one, too. It looks like he might have cleaned up a little bit from the tape I saw. But he does, he does have a habit of getting very wild. Very Tenyakov is going to be looking to close distance at some point and get this fight into the clinch, which is exactly where he does his best work. Those knees, mm. the elbows off the break. He's so good in that Muay Thai clinch. We're at the two-minute mark here in the first round. Michael Morales from Ecuador, Nikolai Verantenyakov from Kazakhstan, fighting out of Huntington Beach and King's MMA. Right now, Morales doing a really good job of keeping this fight long. He's using those long-range weapons. I agree with you, Mike, though, Michael. I mean, one of the biggest notes Watch I had fingers. on him was Watch how fingers. effective Stop. his jab is. Yes. Right and we're not, right uh, we're not seeing him use it too much yet. No, no, it is surprising because it is such a valuable weapon to have. Certainly when you have the reach, the speed, and just the, the, the beautiful jab that he does possess. Look at me. But he's not using it so far. Okay, take your time. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Oof. Make no mistake. Mm. A doctor? No. Okay, good? Okay. All right, stay there. Hey, accidental. Up, first. Okay, same thing. Up, fist. Time in. Fight. When you watch Careful him fight, fingers. how young Michael Morales is. Just 22 years old. Yes. Been a professional since 2017. Yeah, well, I was going to say 22 years old, but he's very composed in there. That's one thing that I actually wrote down in my notes doing my research. And for 22 years old, to only have that kind of maturity, it's huge. But he ate a big shot there. He ate a couple of shots, and then wisely decides to go for the takedown. Doesn't work. Got out of harm's way. Oh, nice shot from Veritanyakov as he spun him back into the octagon. Another yeah. Superman punch. Yeah, that one got through. 
45 seconds to go here in the first round. Looked like that high kick just grazed the head of Veratinikov. Just missed him ever so slightly. But again, I am confused. If you watched it, uh, Michael Morales, he uses the jab all the time, and it, it's it's non-existent here in this fight. And I think it would be very effective for him, right? I mean, yeah. Veratinikov is heavy on that lead leg. He's sort of, you know, putting his, putting his face out there and using his balance where he can pull Morales into his punches, but Morales uh, just, you know, happy to stay a little bit more at kicking range here. Spinning back fist, kind of connected. Not too much on it, though. Veratinikov, the more active fighter here in round Michael. one, landing almost Over twice here. as many total strikes. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Come on, sit down. Hielo, por favor. Ice, please. Saca el hielo, ¿eh? Póncelo atrás. Respira. Ice. Breathe, profundo. breathe. Deep. Otra vez. Más Another profundo, time. más profundo. One more time, deeper. Otra vez, más profundo. Ok, deeper, breathe. ¿Eh? Toma agua. Ok, el round está cerrado. Ah, mejor fue para ti, pero no, vamos a asumir que no, ¿ok? This, this round was, this, this round was yours, but no te vayas let's, 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 let's pretend. Tomando. You're doing good. When, when you... When you throw that double jab, try to go to the body. You hurt him in the first round with the body shot. Okay? Yes, sir. So try, try to see if you can get in a little bit more. You know he's hesitating to punch. Try to be first a little bit. This Saturday, three huge fights top a stack pay-per-view card. Volkanovski and Ortega for the 145-pound title. Shevchenko taking on Murphy for flyweight gold. Plus, Nick Diaz is back against Robbie Lawler, UFC 266 available for purchase only on ESPN+. Plus. Going to be a fun night on Saturday. Oh, yeah. That's a stacked fight card top to bottom, but of course, Nick Diaz coming back. I mean, come on, who's not pumped for that one? Been a long time since those Ooh, two saw each other. Nice. There I like that super Superman punch. Yeah. Right, right off the cage, too. I like it. I like that as well. That little left hook got through. Veritinyakov's corner calling for the overhand, asking him to be a little bit busy, look to close the distance. Yeah, Veritinyakov, he's, he's kind of throwing one at a time, yeah. and he needs to put some combinations together. When he sticks that jab out there, he's finding it. On occasion, when he wings the right hand, he finds the mark, but you got to go again. Oh, got look it, at that. Got it. Beautiful. Nice display of power and technique there. That's that judo background. Strong hips. And full guard. Under four minutes to go here in the second round. Yeah, and this is huge for Morales. Puts him firmly, firmly in control right now. And one thing I did notice was very technical. Didn't offer much from his back when I saw his tapes. But yeah. Morales has to make it work for him. Sorry, Laura. No, no, I was just going to say, and right now, I mean, his shoulders are flat for the most part. He has his guard closed. He's back to, he has a figure four. So he's not looking to mount any offense, you can tell right now. He's looking to sort of stall yeah. and control this position, not take a lot of shots. But this is going to allow Morales to potentially burn a lot of clock in a dominant position. And those little rabbit punches add up. Even though this is the contender series, we're always looking for a finish. Right now, it's Morales dominating this position. And Veritanyakov not really showing that he is, you know, just trying to swivel or find an angle and look for submissions. Yeah, any, uh, anybody that uses a body triangle so Michael, from their back work. should have, we should have an immediate shame bell. <laughs> okay? <laughs> ding, 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 shame. I didn't want to say it. You said Ding, it. ding, ding, shame. Well, he's trying to stall and control. No. Nikolai, watch back That is here. not the name of the game, Laura Sang, but certainly <laughs> on the Contender Series. I agree. I agree. No, this is not what he wants to be doing right now. Oh, this is the nice. Ground pound landed by Michael Morales. Tell you what, Morales is turning up the heat here. They were nice. Veritinikov finally dug that yeah. undercook. The underhook, though, he's looking. Oh, but gives up his back in the process. Morales nice. missed the trick there. He could have taken the back. Let's go, Yanni. 
Things are heating really, up now, though. Bring it, Yanni, really quick. Yanni, what do you see in terms of the over-under? Where are we? We got the over in. Over betters have cashed officially now, and it's a matter of will it go to a decision or finish inside the distance. Those who watched that UFC on the line may have a plus 500 Morales to win by decision ticket in their pocket if they sprinkled. So interesting, seven and a half minutes Nicola. ahead. Oh, good plug for your own show, Yanni. Yeah, I know, eh? Hey, <laughs> Solid. Never, never misses a trick. Why not? But this is a huge round two for Michael Morales. Showing his complete game. Great takedowns. Nice ground and pound. And a nice get up there by Barry Tenikov. Still 90 seconds left. There we go. Look at this. Morales now getting he's starting to feel himself out there. Starting to feel himself. You know, he's, he's, the confidence is growing. When you start a fight like this, certainly a guy from Kazakhstan with a sambo background, you know, you've got to be a little wary. A little cagey part in the pond. But look at this. Now he's letting it go. Now he's going to work. He's doing damage with the shots. And he's starting to feel himself. But he's looking for the knockout. And I'm spitting all over the place. I apologize. <laughs> I caught a few drops. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, the momentum in this fight is clearly shifting in the direction of Morales. At this point, Veritanyukov looking for a desperation shot. The ground is not necessarily where he does his best work. He just was sick, sick of taking those big shots from Morales. Yeah, this is really good for Morales. And on the flip side, he's starting Let's to go crumble. Get out of that. You, you, if you look at the body language, oh. the shots that he's taking, and these are heavy. Oh. He's putting those ones in. Big shots, and then he goes to the right. Veritanyukov needs to stand up. He can't just he can't just stay here with three points oh, and take these nice. shots. Oh, nice. Sorry. Watch the back of the head, oh. Michael. Nikolai, you go gotta move. move. How long's left? 20 seconds. He has to explode up right now. He's just got to go for it, Morales. I mean, just tee off. Morales is working. And there he is to his feet. Is Veritanyukov. And we will see wow. a third round in our fourth fight of the evening. A busy round for Michael Morales. Yeah, a huge win for Michael Morales. Good work, bell to bell. You see, he started out with this Superman punch that he pushed off the cage, landed flush, and then he got this fantastic takedown, just shucks Veritanyukov right to the canvas. And then again, goes in. Beautiful throw from Morales to end up in top position there, and then just continues to tee off toward the end of the round here. Almost every single punch is landing to some degree. Takes his back and then just unleashes. Man, I feel like that fight was so close this to being the finished there for a few seconds, guys. This is the time you lift yourself up and you go forward and you break this man. Do you hear me? Yes, sir, I hear Part of a lion. Let's go. We worked too hard for this. This guy's to win. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, sir. Catch here. Understand? All right. Got to move on the ground. All right. Wait, wait for me. Remember. All right, third round, fight. Veritanyukov, the favorite coming into this one as we start the third round. His corner pleading with him. Half the heart of a line. Yeah, Benil Darius really trying to get his man to go out there and live by the sword and die by the sword. But it wasn't looking good at the end of round two. He took a lot of damage, and he was starting to wilt, if you ask me. And Morales is just growing in stature, in confidence, in numbers. Really starting to take over this fight. Veritanyukov trying to crack back here, but Morales just continues to push forward. He seems like the most, much fresher fighter in terms of gas as well. Oh, Veritanyukov looking oh. to close in. Nine of his 11 wins have come by knockout for Michael Morales. You can see the speed of Veritanyukov is just, you know, decreasing moment by moment. I think he's a little bit gassed right now, and it's causing him to overthink what he's going to do in order to get in the pocket and potentially get in that clinch situation we know he wants to be in. Another big right landed there by Morales, who's it's trying to become just the second Ecuadorian fighter in the UFC behind Cheeto Vera. Sorry, Mike. No, 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 you're good, buddy. It's also a confidence issue, Laura. You know what I mean? Because he's losing this fight now. Round two ended really bad. Round three isn't much better. And look at this. Look at the body language. Look at the games yeah. Morales is starting to play. He's feeling it, and on the flip side, 
Very Tendikov is starting to, you know, he wants out of there. The body language that I'm seeing isn't good. Doesn't mean he's a beaten man, doesn't mean he can't win, doesn't mean he can't turn this round. But what I'm seeing so far, Morales is now enjoying himself. Yeah, oh yeah, he's out there, he's out there playing his game for sure. But this, you know, it, this is another opportunity, much like the last fight. I mean, these guys are going for it, but again, Morales very much in control of this fight. But ideally, on the Contender Series, you get the finish, right? I mean, he he's able to tee off and find the target on Veritenikov's face time and time again. But it's about looking for that finish. Well, yeah. Ooh, that was ill-advised. He was looking for some sort of uh, sacrifice throw, but yeah. Veritanyakov ends up on top, and this is a big moment for him. He's got to be able to take advantage of this dominant position. Trying to get an armbar there, but he isn't going to get it, I don't no. think. Can't really see from this angle, but I'd be surprised if it was locked in, and it wasn't. Let go the fence. And this is Let a go massive fence. opportunity now. This is the best position or momentum Veritanyakov has had for the last 10 minutes. Pass his guard, I was worried about a triangle for him there for a second. Drops a knee to the midsection, and another, and another. These are the knees that we spoke about. He's firmly in control here, but look at that. Beautiful technical get up. He's not out of the woods yet though, the neck is still in danger. He's in a front, line, front headlock position, but Veritanikov made a mistake there by not tripoding out and allowed Morales to, uh, to get on top. <laughs> He had a real opportunity to look for some sort of a guillotine or an anaconda or a darce, but lost it. That was the biggest momentum swing that we had seen in the last two rounds. 90 seconds to go here in the third and final round. Veritanyakov doing everything he can to suck this single leg in and turn the corner. But Morales doing a nice job defending. Stop! Don't move! Put it in! Put it in! Fight. That's his mouthpiece, it looks like, for a moment. It's going to be virtually impossible for Veritanyakov to finish the single leg while Morales has his hands clasped. And this is one of the issues that you have with a much longer fighter. You know, height is not just about reach on the feet. It's about dealing with those long limbs in these grappling situations as well. Yeah, it's also frustrating for Morales because they're kind of in this weird transition, this position here. And, you know, for Morales, he was really starting to gain some momentum. And now they're finishing the fight. And look at that. Really nice. Sits out, hits the double leg. Now he's firmly in control. 30 seconds left. Let's see what he does. Coming up on 20 seconds to go here. Morales trying to land some ground and pound as he wraps things up here. Another scramble. Nice work by Barry Tenikov. Listen, the kid. I shouldn't say kid, the young man is very, very nice tough, but look at that. What a great way to finish. One final statement for the Ecuadorian.